Among the many famous and enticing attractions in Iceland is the Blue Lagoon. And yes, you might have originally heard about it from the notorious Brooke Shields film from the 1980s, but it's more than just a backdrop in a romantic film. It's an incredible place that has to be seen to be believed. So stick around as Vucation presents Visiting the Blue Lagoon Iceland Belongs on Your Bucket List. What's the Blue Lagoon? It's a geothermal spa in the southwest region of Iceland, which is a fancy way of saying it's an outdoor spa, perfect for the chance to relax. It was created by a mix of natural occurrences and man-made activity. Towards the end of the 70s, a local power plant was drilling for geothermal energy. They tried one of the lots near their plant and discovered something unusual. There was a ton of excess steam and hot water spouting out. From then on, it became an incredible discovery humans would soon use to their relaxing advantage. It's important to note that the power plant and the lagoon are far enough away from each other that their elements have not contaminated each other. None of the lagoon water leaks into the plant, and none of the plant's many chemicals can get into the lagoon, so it's perfectly safe to be in. Health Benefits The hot spring at the Blue Lagoon has brackish water that contains a lot of naturally occurring minerals. That, when combined with the exfoliating nature of the mud in the lagoon, makes the Blue Lagoon very appealing for people looking for a spa-esque skin treatment. The primary minerals found in the waters are sulfur and silica. These two, when combined, create a blue hue that gives the Blue Lagoon its signature color. There are also some kinds of algae within the lagoon that are unique to the area. When combined with the minerals and the exfoliating mud, they make for a soothing and therapeutic treatment for human skin. The most common ailment people look to the Blue Lagoon waters to treat is psoriasis. This is partly because the normal treatment for psoriasis involves a lot of harmful UV light. The lagoon allows a soothing treatment for psoriasis without bombarding the skin with UV. And there's no bad time to dip into the Blue Lagoon to get this spa-worthy skin treatment. It stays around 102 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. Location It's located on the Reykjans Peninsula, and it's actually Iceland's most famous and popular site. People fly from all over the world to check out its incredible scenery. It's also easily accessible once you get to Iceland, which adds to its appeal. If you fly into Keflavik International Airport, you'll be able to reach the Blue Lagoon by car in around 15 minutes. Of course, you might want to visit Reykjavik first and get settled into a hotel and then get a nice meal. In that case, you're still incredibly close to the Blue Lagoon. It's about a half an hour drive from the center of Reykjavik. Those going the rental car route will be able to jump in their rental and head right there. But even if you aren't renting, it's still easy to get there because of the many Blue Lagoon tours you can go on. Before we tell you more about visiting the Blue Lagoon, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. When to go If you've already flown all the way to Iceland, you surely want to make sure you hit up the Blue Lagoon at the best possible time of day. It can be disheartening to visit any big attraction and be forced to deal with more crowds than you were anticipating. You also want to visit in a way that will allow you to fully experience the hot springs. As such, we recommend going either in the morning or the evening. What's great about the morning is there's no time limit to your visit. Once you're in the spa, you can stay there all day if you like. So going in the morning will allow you to take your time and leisurely experience the Blue Lagoon. There are also fewer people the earlier you visit. The other best option is to arrive around four hours before closing time. It's also a little less crowded than the afternoon and late morning and a great way to get a relaxing soak in before you eat dinner and head to bed. Regardless of what time you visit, you want to make sure you leave yourself enough time. Anything less than two hours will be too little. Most people tend to enjoy around four hours at the spa. That's partially because it can take a little while once you arrive to check in and then go through the process of meeting the required hygiene protocols. The attraction does a good job of handling reservations in a way that it's never insanely crowded because they keep the maximum capacity at a relatively comfortable number. As far as what time of year to visit, you truly can't go wrong. But one popular time of year is winter because the famous northern lights are visible in the sky. So people can enjoy soaking in the healing waters of the Blue Lagoon and seeing one of the planet's most incredible natural sights in the sky. Accommodations If you'd like to stay at the Blue Lagoon rather than a hotel in Reykjavik, you have a couple of great options. For those looking for a lavish five-star experience, the Blue Lagoon Retreat will be a hit. It stands next to the lagoon and overlooks it. So you can sit in your room and gaze at the wondrous natural landmark before and after actually going in. The price is steeper than most hotels in the area, but you'll get a high-class experience while you're there. 
Getting a room there also allows you free entrance to the Blue Lagoon and the private Treat Lagoon. The hotel also offers group hikes into the nearby lava field as well as yoga classes. Your other option when it comes to hotels at the Blue Lagoon is the Silica Hotel. It's slightly further away from the lagoon itself, about 10 minutes on foot, but it's a charming hotel that's won many awards over the years. It's located in the local lava fields, which are a sight to see themselves. Either hotel will be a great option if you're looking to spend a little more time at the lagoon. Cost Prices for entering the Blue Lagoon vary a lot, depending on a few things like the time of year, the time of day, and if you're getting optional services. As of January 2022, there are three primary packages to get in. They all include entrance to the pools, the sauna, and steam room, as well as an area inside the facility for relaxation. There's the comfort package, which runs from about $50 to $90, and you get a mud mask as well as a free drink. Then there's the premium package, which also adds another face mask and a bathrobe. It also gets you a reservation at the restaurant inside, not to mention a bottle of sparkling wine. That runs you $85 to $110. And finally, there's the Luxury Retreat Spa Package, which is a 5-hour experience with prices starting at $430. It comes with access to a private area of the Blue Lagoon, as well as a series of spa treatments, access to the restaurant, a private area for changing, and more. We strongly recommend making a reservation, regardless of when you go and what package you choose. It books pretty far in advance, and you don't want to be stuck without a chance to get in. You can make reservations on the Blue Lagoon site or through other travel sites. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think you'll ever make it to this incredible Icelandic attraction? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.